Accustomed to growing up in the city, I delighted in my summer visits to my mother's Catawba County, North Carolina relatives. I can still smell the freshly tilled earth after a summer rain, mingling in my mind with the faint scent of four o'clocks and the delectable fragrance of fried okra coming from the farmhouse. My great aunts and uncles were hard workers. They drew their sustenance from the earth through farming and making functional pottery. My mother was an art teacher who nurtured my early love of earth and taught me to make pots at an early age. While in college, I continued to improve my pottery skills. After graduation and marriage, I created my first greenhouse pottery business. My family grew over the next 10 years. The farm then reappeared in my life, this time offering sanctuary as we recreated our family after divorce. I continued my work as a third generation Catawba Valley potter and farmer, receiving immense joy as my children grew up playing in the same creeks and fields that their great grandparents knew and loved. My aunt was the family historian. When she was a child, my uncle's wood-fired groundhog pottery kiln was within sight of the family farmhouse front porch. She recounted in her words, watching a burn, as she camped out on the family farmhouse's sleeping porch on hot summer nights. She recalled watching flames jump and sparks leap from the groundhog kiln across the road at my Uncle Seth Ritchie's country store, as men stoked the kiln all night to complete the burn. I visited with Berlin Craig as he told stories of his work with some of my relatives in his young days as a potter. He recalled working with my great uncles Aubrey Hilton and Seth Ritchie and recounted how traditionally clay was dug locally, soaked, and then run through a pug mill to render it useful, similar to this pug mill. Today, the family farm flourishes once again. I am busy growing heirloom and medicinal varieties of plants grown in the early 20th century. I create functional pottery in the tradition of my kinfolk, the extended family of Catawba Valley potters who continue to turn pottery in the time-honored tradition of the North Carolina foothills. Several times a year, I open Life Flowers Farm to the public for sale of pottery and plants. Sometimes, when I till my fields in the springtime, Pottery shards appear, likely made by my kinfolk. It makes me smile, a confirmation somehow that the circle of life continues to turn. <laughs>